back on the flat earth again let's get it popping now we're going to show you how to recognize curvature from the surface of the earth it ain't a problem because the globe earth is in fact a fact so let's get into it now when we look at the horizon we tend to assume that we are seeing in a straight line because the horizon looks flat appears flat and we appear that we are seeing from like a straight line just like this but that's not how we just see the horizon if we were standing in the middle of the ocean with our eyes about six feet above the water the horizon line would be approximately three miles from our eyes and that's in any direction we are looking so whether we're looking horizontally to the left to the right turn around backwards the horizon will still only be three miles from our eyes and therefore with a radius of about about three miles the circumference would be about 18.85 miles okay so with a human field of view of about 135 degrees horizontally we will see about seven miles of horizon in our field of view at any one time therefore we won't be able to recognize curvature that way and so not understanding those basic mathematics that the horizon line is equal distance from your eyes and we are not seeing in a straight line but we are seeing an actual circle according to the globe geometry flat earthers ask the ignorant question that if we can't see curvature horizontally or from left to right how can we see it vertically well this is how first of all let's go to an example a simulation based on a globe here's a picture of a globe and if we are looking at a ship leaving and going towards the horizon this is what we would see and expect to see on a globe let me play and we see it go over the horizon disappearing from bottom up let's let's put in the telescope to give us a better view and let me just go through it like this just tapping it and if we tap it and we see it come through the telescope once it once it reaches the horizon it begins to disappear bottom up it got small so per our perspective shown that the boat or the ship was getting smaller and smaller but once it reached the horizon and began to go over the horizon it began to disappear bottom up okay but how should we see it on a flat earth so let's see the example of a flat earth does the flat earth have an horizon yes does it look similar to a globe earth yes but what is the difference this is the difference as it goes away it will get smaller just like it did on the globe example however it won't disappear bottom up let's let's see that example again with the telescope in view because we on the flat earth ah right, look at that flat earth right there let's see how it look now let's go through it a little slower and as it reaches the horizon the horizon on the flat earth doesn't obstruct it can't obstruct things from bottom up so if you can see the top you can see the bottom you can't have the top in full frame view and the bottom is gone no it ain't it don't work like that so as it moves further and further away we see it disappearing however or getting smaller however it's not disappearing bottom up it is appearing to merge into 
the horizon or converging to the horizon, but it doesn't disappear bottom up. So looking at things horizontally, for example, if we look at this pool stick, those of us who have played pool, we know that if I wanted to see if the pool stick was warped, I don't look at it like this from side to side. I look at it like this. Why? I look at it from not a horizontal position, but I look at it from a vertical position because I know or I know that I will be able to recognize if it's warped better. So if I'm looking at it from this way, I can see that there's a bend in the pool stick. But if I looked at it from this way, come on, man, I can't tell that. I can't see that. So this is what we must recognize when we are looking at this globe versus flat earth debate. And so that's one of the ways you recognize curvature from the surface. That's just ended with this famous Chicago skyline. A good example was given to us by Walter. Check out his site. It's a good site. And it's given the mathematics. Two meters up. Distance from the city. 3.4 kilometers. Tallest building. 442 meters. It's given us the eye level. It's given us the globe side to the right view. And it's given us the flat earth view to the left. So just pay attention to the eye level, pay attention to the buildings and how it should look on the globe versus the flat earth. And so we're going to begin to play it. So as we go across Lake Michigan, we begin to see both getting smaller. But the difference is this is not being abstracted on the flat earth from bottom up. But on the globe, we begin to see that it's being obstructed. You notice that, right? Okay. So let's continue to play. So as it moves further and further away, we see that the globe, it, it disappears totally. But on the flat earth, it just looks tiny. We just can't make it out. Right? You see the same thing I'm looking at, right? Yeah, but that's how it look on the flat earth. Let's bring it back into view. Okay? In other words, we are zooming in with our telescope. And as we zoom in, we can't bring those buildings back on the globe. And then, yeah, it's, it's, it's below eye level. However, we can bring these buildings back from bottom up on the flat earth. Because perspective is null and void. If I can full frame the city in the scope, you can't use that perspective thing. If I can bring it back into full view, in other words, I can make whatever I'm looking at as big as the frame of the telescope. You can't use that perspective nonsense if you can do that. So as we continue to play, we want to show you a different perspective or angle if we moved higher. So we elevate ourselves out. The eye level drops. Let me stop it. The eye level drops and we begin to see more of the city. Well, what will be the difference on the flat earth? See, this is what we see in reality. But on the flat earth, we already saw the buildings. But now we can better see him because we, we have risen up with the telescope focused or zoomed in. But the difference is now we can see more things behind at two or uh, three. Uh, at, let me see. We're up 200 meters. So at a height of 200 meters, we are able to see what's behind the buildings on the surface of the flat earth. We can't see that on the globe. That's enough said for right now. But this is how you recognize the curvature of the earth. 
Until next time.